Hello everyone, welcome back to this is Video Diaries. Welcome back to my channel. Finally, we're out in the open again and uh, here at Plymouth Station today. Um, Going to be making my way along the uh, network today doing a bit of photography. So, welcome to my first uh, brand new revised Video Diary series where you might not even be able to hear me very well, but I am sorry if you can't. I'm in the mask, obviously. Um, but welcome back. Um, it's been a long time, been nearly four months since I've done a, a video out on the railway. Obviously, the other two that I have done will be up by should be up by now. No, Slough's still got to go up. Maidenhead's up, but Slough isn't. So that's the last one from March, and then we're pretty much up to date from that point. And anything you see after that will be brand new from Video Diary and also any station videos I do. So. Yeah, I'm wearing a face covering, so I might sound a little bit muffled, so I do apologise. Um, can't really help that, not really, you can't really take it off. It's a legal requirement now, so makes sense. I actually find it quite comfortable, actually, I don't really mind it, but I might be regretting saying that later. Um, so today's plan, uh, heading up to Taunton to do a video. And then once I finish at Taunton, I'll be then doing the rest of, spending the rest of the day doing some photography. Taunton video will probably be about 15 to 20 minutes long, I can't imagine it being any longer than that, purely because um, it's not got as much, obviously 85% of trains have been returned into service, but that's not everything that's been returned, so I'll be honest with you there. The train I've got, 802008, waiting for it to pair up with a, its companion from Penzance. I'll be boarding that, and then obviously we'll update you as we go. I think actually it's just arriving. Yeah, it is. Uh, I won't go it because there's a lot of people down there and it's a bit busy, so, well, it's not really that busy, but, you know, it's, it's, it's mild, but I jump, you know, you'll see more as we go along. So, thanks for watching, of course, and enjoy the return of my actual channel and what it's about. So, yeah, enjoy. Just arrived into Taunton on 802.08 and there's a pacer here. No idea why, but there is a pacer here. I don't have a clue as to what number it is actually. Let's walk up, hang on. I'll have a look in a minute. Bear with me. Right, we're now about to board 158, 749 and 760 and head out towards the next station where the rest of the day is going to be focused purely on photography and updating this video diary. So obviously the stuff that's from Taunton in terms of trains out will just be in a separate video and now anything you see now will be logged for anything beyond Taunton. Enjoy!
Right, so we've now made it to Bridgewater, uh, another station that i um, wanted to visit for a while. Well, I've been here before, but it's another one I need to clear on my uh, album of stations. Um, nice little station, only two platforms, nice architecture, um, just basic two platform station really. It's just got an hourly service and just a lot of fast trains. So yeah, here we are at Bridgewater. Um, yeah, uh, I'll, update, I'll update you on our sort of next movement. Okay, next train we're now taking is the 1322 Cardiff Central, which is 158766. And 765. Right, we'll board this one now and go from there. Right, we've now arrived into Western Supermare, another station on my list that I need to do. Uh, 158766 and 765, numerical order, are um, ready to go in a minute. Uh, and then we'll be here for about a half hour, maybe 20 odd minutes. I'm gonna get a sandwich, come back, and then we'll be heading over to the next stop. Last one on the Bristol Taunton section anyway. Uh, but yeah, here we are at Western Supermare. Lovely station, been here many times. We'll see the 158s head out in a minute. Right, the part now now is going to be the uh, 1347 Great Western Railway Service to Cardiff Central from Taunton. Here we are, that's the 158 heading off to Cardiff Central. Next stop of uh, Whirl. Right, we've now reached Western Supermare again. We just wanted to get some food, and here's 166203 taking us to our next station, which I'll find out very shortly. Get some photographs for you as well and stuff that I'll post on Instagram. You'll see all that. But we've got a blue turbo, so that's even better. See you shortly. We're just arriving to Yatton, there goes 166203, heading over to Cardiff, um, Filton Abbey Wood, sorry, from Western Supermare. So they're going to Filton now, they're not going to Bristol Parkway anymore. It's just Filton Abbey Wood for those, and that's actually been the way before lockdown too, so that's really weird. Uh, but I guess because Filton's got more platforms now, it's easier. So we're going to stay here, have some food, so we will be doing a few clips here of trains at Yatton, so look out for those. Right, arriving now is the 1446 Great Western Railway Service to Western Supermare from Filton, Abbeywood, which is 165119 on its own. I wonder how social distancing can be done on this. There goes 165119 heading over to uh, Western Supermare on the 1446 service, calling out Whirl, Western Milton and Western Supermare. So uh, yeah, and very nice wave from the driver as well, so thank you very much for that. Right, 
So here's 43158 and something else. This will be the 1501 to Cardiff Central. We're going to take this now to our next destination. We'll have to get back on one of these again. It's been a while. Right, we've made it now to Filton Abbey Wood. Just got off uh, HST, 43158 on the front, whatever else is on the rear. Uh, we'll see that in a minute. So we'll see that one shortly. Right, so going out there was the 1535 Great Western Railway service to Cardiff Central from Taunton. That's my first clip of a train departing off of Filton's brand new, well, not brand new, it's newish, Platform 4. I've not filmed it before, but there it is. There's Filton Abbey Woods Platform 4. Uh, sort of new. It's, uh, it's I've already cleared, I've already photographed and shacked the station already, but um, Filton's Platform 4 is quite new. It's a good way of having terminating services in in now as well um, because sort of it allows for that uh, it's pretty good I like it so yeah uh, there the station itself the rest of it pretty much hasn't changed it's still run down but it's still a very enjoyable nice little station okay coming in now we have 158760 and uh, 749 And they're heading over to Taunton. Not a great shot, I know. But there it goes anyway into Taunton. Don't think you can see it very well, it's because I've got my hands full with like a piece of food, a croissant. So uh, yeah, but there's that one anyway to Taunton. holding my camera really weirdly right now but there goes a Voyager to uh, I'm imagining Newcastle on that one so there it goes right arriving in now is 166207 this is the uh, 1546 Great Western Railway service to Gloucester from Westbury for this one now and I'll see you very shortly at the next stop Right, 166207 just departed there with the 1612 Great Western Railway service to Gloucester from Weymouth and that will be my train going back shortly. This is Cameron Dursley station. Um, short little station, uh, pretty much in between Gloucester, sorry, between Bristol Parkway and Cheltenham, Bristol Parkway and Gloucester if you're on the stopper. Uh, sometimes on cross country as well I suppose. Um, this station is served by an hourly train service for most of the day. Um, is in the middle of nowhere because it's all countryside. The area itself uh, is very quiet, but the station itself uh, does have a pretty good service. Like I said, basic hourly service. So, but here we are at Cameron Dursley. Right, and then now is going to be the return of 166207, taking me back to Bristol Temple Meads now. Also in the video there, Tom train spotter. Bumped it, came over to see him as well and also get the station done. This one's off to Weymouth. On we go. Right, well I managed to get off the turbo and now I'm at Bristol Temple Meads. 
been a very long time since I've been back here. And uh, this was one of the places that I sort of was a little bit concerned about going to, but it is only for a change. And this 43285 across country HST just so happened to be here. So off it goes. Forty-three, three, five, seven. That's heading over to Edinburgh from Plymouth, I believe. Hang on. Uh, no, Leeds. That what? No, yeah, Leeds. That one's going to Leeds from Plymouth. That was nice to see that here. Nice little surprise. So, uh, other trains: eight hundred three hundred three, Bristol Temple meets the London Paddington service. Call me at Bath Spa. Chippenham, Swindon, uh, Reading, London, Paddington. No, hang on. Uh, yeah, I think so. Might be non-stop, might be Didcot, I don't know. Can't keep track these days, because there's always changes. 207 and 217 sat here, 166s. Um, there's 266, 207 is heading on to Weymouth. 217 is heading to Gloucester. So they're sort of meeting up here. We've got another 800 pairing coming in. Might be 802s though, but we don't know. Um, we've got... 800.032 And 800... 027 Please only travel if you really need to and maintain and respect social distancing with fellow passengers. There's that one eight hundred oh two seven. All right, the final as well is 166217, 1738 to Gloucester from uh, Westbury, I believe. Right, so that's a couple of trains I'm going to see here. I'm not going to stand here and spot because that's not what I plan to do here. Uh, my next video clip you'll see will be of my next train arriving, which I'll confirm more as the clip goes on. We've got another train for luck coming in as well. It's a 165 this time. I don't know if this is actually going to be my one. Um, I'm going to try and... The interesting thing as well, you see on the floors here, they've got these little signs that say, please keep your distance. I think this one might be my one. This is 165135. Yeah, it is. So this is going to be taking me to St Andrews Road. The next the last station I'm going to be clearing today. And that train is really quiet. As is Temple Meads itself. Great Western Railway service to Bristol Parkland. Actually quite amazed. Anyway, that will be my train to St Andrews Road. I will be avoiding it should the train get really busy. I don't know if it will though. Alright, going on now as well, we've got the 1745 to Plymouth, which is 220, 028 and 010. 
is near that we're about one zero ten. So I guess that one's finished. I'm on the one two hours after that. Right, so very quickly, this is my train taking me over to St Andrew Road. This will be 165135. And here this one is. Right, so 165135 has departed uh, with the 1832 Great Western Railway Service to Seven Beach. We are at St Andrews Road, the least used station in Bristol. Now I'm not going to go all Jeff and just start rambling on about that because that is not what I do. But um, what I will say is that this is the least used station in Bristol and this station serves a very big industrial estate but also um, serves a massive sort of freight yard because over here on a good day you'll get freight which sort of goes into these two little sheds over over there i mean the whole thing looks like a big rocket well in a way maybe not actually no it's two buildings isn't it no it won't be um but yeah no it's um it's pretty much um two big sheds with uh, things inside well with locos that go inside of them picking up things i don't even know what sort of work goes on in there maybe someone could shed some light maybe bristolian or someone who does know about freight will be able to shed some light on that uh what i do know is this this station does serve one train every two hours we just got off one which is back in 18 minutes to then take me back to bristol for my last part of the day uh for, for my last journey which is back home to plymouth um so yeah so this station least you station in bristol um very quiet although it was a lot of people got off here when i got off so and i'm just going to state out for the record that that was the busiest train i've been on all day and it wasn't even that busy um it was about it it didn't help that it was only a two car but it was um i had a complete row of seats to myself no the nearest person was well over two meters away from me so um so yeah no it even that was a peak time service i think i'm trying to avoid the peak time if i can but i think that one must have been in the peak time but even then that was really quiet but i suppose this line is really busy sometimes i don't know that because i've been on it in peak time and it is very busy so it goes to show how many people are not using the train at the moment and that's probably a good thing um but for those who want to well i suppose not want to use it but for those who choose to use it, you can, but like I've said before, choose other ways if you can, but if you can't, do it, but, you know, just use your common sense. Don't go to places that are under local lockdown. Don't go to places with high, high numbers of infection rates. Don't go to big train stations in like London. I, would, I still wouldn't do that. In, you know, if you live in London, I suppose it's a little bit different, but if you live outside of London, don't sort of bring yourself into London, if that makes sense. Because um, it might be, it might, you know, it's a very big place and lots going on there with, with COVID and everything. Um, where else? Yeah, just big stations like Leeds, Reading. No, I don't say Reading, but Leeds, definitely. Places like in the north, 
they're difficult at the moment so yeah just reading that, I read up on a lot of these articles so I sort of see what goes on in regions and stuff and the North East is quite bad so that's why I say Leeds and like York, Newcastle places like that are, are pretty much a void uh, at the moment I reckon uh, and obviously Leicester as well so um, yeah but I'll stop rambling on because it's just because it's quiet and I've got stations myself at the moment um, but yeah this is St Andrews Road the least used station in Bristol as far as I'm aware anyway might have changed but I still believe it still is the least used station in Bristol um, and there's a big Asda warehouse over there so yeah but this is St Andrews Road right we've just departed St Andrews Road now I've got to one the train arriving in because I had to do a couple of things getting a mask on and everything but we've now departed St Andrews Road Right, so we made it to Bristol Temple Mead, 165, 135, it's brought me in from St Andrews Road. So now that one's there. Um, I'm going to make my way now for my final leg of the journey, which is to Plymouth. So see you over there shortly. Right, about to depart now is going to be the 1935 South Western Railway service from Bristol Temple Meads to London Waterloo. I mean, it might actually be to Salisbury actually. But it's going to peer around any minute. Here it comes. And this one is 159003. Voyage has also gone out over there, heading to Leeds, starting here at Temple Meads. Heading off to Waterloo, I think, anyway. Right, we've made it to Plymouth. Sorry I didn't record my uh, departure from Temple Mead. It was a bit crowded-ish. wasn't too bad, but I, the train sort of went right up to the top of Temple Mead, so I couldn't really um, get down and film in time because it was a bit awkward. Couldn't even take a picture of the train. It was that awkward. Anyway, we're back in Plymouth. This is the first time I've filmed a clip here in nearly f in over four months maybe even five months it's bonkers my first trip back it's so nice to be back oh it's nice to have my mask off when you're out in the fresh air as well 220.025 is my train i'm just saying it now just so i can remember it for my rail miles and everything but 220.025 is my train that took me back four car on its own great for social distancing if it gets busy but there you go um but yeah thanks for watching this video diary there'll be plenty more to come if you have liked what you've seen do like and subscribe do leave any comments because we'll go back to them as well as i can and do leave any recommendations they are also very much welcomed as well station recommendations of course are welcome but please just remember that now trains out stuff will be a bit more limited um, because i'm going to focus more on video diaries and getting the most out of traveling whilst you know whilst i still can you know because you never know what's around the corner with this blooming virus honestly we don't so we'll have to wait and see uh, so next video diary of me is actually going to be a Devon Day Ranger one. So it's actually going to be me travelling around Devon for the first time since lockdown. So you'll see footage from various stations around Devon as I clear more stations. Thanks for watching. Ooh, shivering. Uh, see you soon. Goodbye.